So a question I've been getting recently is, when are you gonna show us how to do the file transfer, Jay? And uh, so I'm making this very quick video to show you that particular fundamental um, task. And so um, I'm on my iPad right now, and I'm going to open up a song. And let's suppose I've been working with Cool Groove here, and I wanna be able to send that over to my PC so I can edit it further. So that's what we're going to do first. I'll open up the file. And here I've got a bunch of grooves which may be cool, maybe not, but I've got like my stuff here. A few, you know, got drums, electro synth, electro pulse, and so forth. So I've got a few little things maybe I worked on over lunch and now I want to take those to my PC. So from here what I can do, and there's a couple ways to do this by the way, so I'm going to show you both. Uh, from the main menu, I can go to song and then export song. And let me collapse the keyboard. And transfer song is right here. So this is where we can transfer the project. Now I'm not going to do it right this moment. Let me go back and show you, uh, if you recall up in this little kind of toolbar area up here, if I click on the share option, that's going to be a quick shortcut to a lot of different functions. So let me go ahead and go to transfer song. And here, um, my computer has a very unique name. It's called administrator, but that's my computer. That's where I'm sending this. And again, I, I have both Zen Beats sessions open. I'm connected to the same Wi-Fi because um, that's the only way it's going to work. And that's the only way this is going to pop up like it did. So let me go ahead and choose Administrator. And when I do that, uh, notice how the Transfer button becomes illuminated. I'm going to click on it. And now, that quickly, it just sent that file to my PC. So we're going to pick up over there. And just that quick, I've now received that project file and it says transfer song received. You just received this song, Cool Groove. And I can click OK and that will just close this menu. And I don't know the song will be there. I can open it up later on. Or if I want to open it up right now to continue my work immediately, I can choose open. So here is the file. And it looks just like it would in its iOS counterpart, only bigger. So let's say that um, some time has elapsed and Let's suppose I have copied some of my beats, and maybe I've taken some of the stuff and started to work with it further in my timeline view. Let's just suppose that um, I'm saving my stuff and I want to send it to my device. And to do that, again, there's a couple of options. And I'm just going to take the real quick shortcut here. Go to transfer song, choose my iPad, click transfer and now it's there so here on my iPad we get a similar message um, but this one says that there's a song named conflict so um, it says the incoming song cool groove already exists and that's okay because I've been sharing this back and forth and all I'm doing is overriding the same file. So I'm okay with that. I'm going to leave that name and I'm going to tell the system to overwrite the existing file. And I'll click OK or tap OK. Now that's out there and I'm going to open it up. I'm going to go into my open song area. There's Cool Groove, the new version. I'm going to open it up. And here's my timeline. Initially, when we first opened this project up, we were in the loop builder view. But now that I've made some edits and I've saved the song file from the PC, it loaded with this timeline view because that's the view that I was last in. So uh, it's really neat. It's really great the way this transfer works. It's super simple to do and hopefully you guys got something out of this. Let me know, leave a comment, and uh, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.